Hi guys, I'm um, doing the uh, EGR Delete on a 2016 F350 Power Stroke. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I got a couple of things to uh, bring to the table here regarding taking off this EGR. Um, this is 2016 and they definitely changed um, a few pieces on them later on which has made this a bit easier on the early ones there was a wiring loom uh, connected to here and I know it was a real pain to get off but what they did is on the 2016s I don't know whether they did it before 2015s and 14s what they did is they changed it to here which is much easier to get off with a I think it's an 11 or a 12 um, so you can imagine looking through from the front it's going to be much easier to get this off than get this off. So that was good. Um, I also took off these pipes here in uh, the opposite order as well. I took off the small one first, which gave me tons of access to these bolts here, which are very pro problematic. You know, every other one snaps off. Um, I found some guy online, made a great video, and he applied heat, not to the bolt, to the manifold I used a mini plumber's torch so I heated up the one on the right hand side there first came straight out about 30 seconds of heat and then I done this one and as I got it out about a quarter of an inch it started to tighten up so I didn't force it I put some liquid wrench on it left it soak 15 minutes tried it again backwards and forwards the same issue right so I put some more liquid wrench on left it for half an hour same issue so I thought okay that ain't working so I put heat to it again it come out straight away it was like a different bolt so yeah if you start backing out those bolts even if you've applied heat don't force them put some more heat to it and it should come out um also um this bolt here uh no this bolt the one in the back left hand corner is difficult to get at as well you're gonna have to take off all of the all of those wiring loom plugs and i went in through the side here with I went through the side with two three eighths with a wobble socket on the end and this one also and that allowed me to get that that rear left bolt out as well um it went well i took my time i did quite a lot of research um another thing that was a little unforeseen with the coolant petcocks on this as well they're quite difficult to get at the one on the driver's side is is easy access it's right there you can see it in the background turn it anti-clockwise quarter of a turn and pull it out about quarter of an inch if you pull it out all the way you're going to have coolant everywhere and there's a lot of coolant in these I used a small bucket to catch it and then tipped it into a larger one but look at that there's probably 20 22 22 liters of coolant there and the other coolant on the one side on this on this side on the passenger side here is difficult to get is really difficult to get at I removed that bumper that bumper bracket there to be able to get in there do the same turn it quarter of an inch and pull it out a bit but you can also get at it from underneath the front there underneath the underneath the bumper um i don't know if it's really necessary to do that one also on the later um six sevens you're only going to be taking the hose off from there 